This was it. If you followed my whole process of my explaining why I was excited for the talents, you would know the Paladin. This is the one. We've been waiting the whole time. First impressions. We're going to go through it all. Take a look at it. We're going to focus on Prot. I'll take a look at Ret too, okay? Here we go. This is, I cannot wait for this. So on the bottom row, we have some very interesting talents. Lay on hands, Blessing of Freedom, and Hammer of Wrath are the three. That's a weird combo. I really like Hammer of Wrath having that early, though. That is really, really nice. Uh, and it actually generates holy power. That's how it works in live. Well, I think I can't, I can't actually remember. If you guys know, I haven't played Paladin very seriously in a long time. It was my main since TBC all the way through Legion. And I still adore the class. I love their kind of inexorable connection to Death Knight. It's a whole thing. I love it all. But... You know, it's been a while I haven't played it too seriously. We also, as Prot, get uh, Concentration and Devotion Aura. That's it. You get both. That's, <laughs> that's kind of weird. Basically, auras. You get auras. There's also Retribution and Crusader Auras. Okay, so those are just the other two auras that we currently have. I feel like Retribution Aura needs to be removed or changed or something. When any party or raid member within 40 yards takes more than... F oh, it used to be whenever they died... Wow, that's a lot better. Now it's whenever they take 50% of their health and damage. But it does say New York Institute or whatever. So yeah, it could be uh, you have to enroll in a college or something to get that. Okay, so we have Blinding Light and Repentance down here. Good choice. These are two things that I think go well. They're balanced together. I never liked the Fist of Justice thing on that row. Divine Steed, we'll take that. That sounds like a good thing. Looks like we also have Cavalier. Oh, that's the double charge one. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good. We like that. Oh, and here it is. Seasoned Warhorse. So this is a conduit that I think is absolutely mandatory. I don't actually know how long the conduit extends it. You guys tell me. But it looks like the maximum is going to be two extra seconds, which takes it for five total seconds and two charges. That's quite good. I mean, it's very good. Those are very early in the tree. So there's Fist of Justice. We're obviously liking that one. Seal of Alacrity. Ooh. That's not actually a seal, though. It's just haste increased by 2% total. So that's cool. Over here, we have Golden Path. Sounds like a weird thing, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I like this one a lot. Consecration heals you. And uh, this is now going to be for all paladins. This is something that you can have, uh, in again, in a conduit. So pretty cool. Judgment of Light. A very strong talent. I've always liked this for raiding. Avenging Wrath. Now, that's a good one to lead off the middle row here. We also have Seal of the Templar. When mounted on your charger or under the effects of Crusader Aura, the ranges of Cider Strike. What is that? A new spell? Cider Strike. Hammer of the Righteous, Templar's Verdict, and Rebuke, and Hammer of Justice are all increased by three, three yards. Wow. That's a very good way to make Crusader Aura actually have value. There's going to be so many confused people, dude. <laughs> so many confused people. Why are you using Crusader Aura in five, man? Like, it's going to happen. <laughs> but yeah, Cider Strike. That sounds tasty. So we'll see what that is. Turn Evil. Okay, re that's a terrible talent, to be honest. But it's cool that it's still in the game. Rebuke. Interrupt spell casting. So there we go. Holy Pally has Rebuke. This was one of the main things we were looking for. Uh, I mean, there's nothing confirmed... It's not like guaranteed because they haven't finished the holy tree, but I'm 99% sure if it's in the class tree, it means that all three specs have it. And we got rebuke for holy paladin. That is huge. That is huge. That's going to completely change the way they're perceived. Seal of Mercy. Golden Path strikes the lowest health ally and enemy within it an additional time for 50% of the effect. That's very interesting. I feel like that is the... Isn't that uh, part of the, what the hell's the name of the spell? Venthyr spell for Paladin? I think that's the legendary, I don't know. Conduit for that. Cleanse toxins. That's good. Poison and disease, of course. Everybody wants that. Blessing of sack. I'm going to put my sack on you. <laughs> All right, uh, we have judgment. This is your standard. Uh, everybody's going to get that. Uh, another judgment. 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 Judgment causes the target to take 25% increased damage from your next holy power ability. I think this has got to be a bug, right? Why would this be over here? Oh, wait. Judgment is not... A, okay, okay, okay. I see. So these are just named like stupid stuff. Like, you already have Judgment. 
but you have to take this if you wanted to generate one holy power. Now that's pretty good. I'm pretty sure what, what one of the specs doesn't generate holy power right now. Is it holy? It might be holy, but one of them doesn't. I think it's holy, and that's uh, that's gonna be great. Seal of Reprisal. You're damaging holy power spell spenders. Deal 10% increased damage. Now that stacks up to twice, so 20% increased damage. I mean, I'm not sure that's anything to remark at, but I love the concept. After image. Oh wow, like uh, Goku, right? Uh, after you've spent one holy power, your next word of glory echoes onto a nearby ally. That seems interesting. And word of glory just must be a baseline spell now because I never saw it on the tree. Uh, recompense. After your blessing of sacrifice ends, 50% of the total damage diverted is added to your next judgment cast as bonus damage. That's great. Sacrifice of the just. Reduces the cooldown of blessing of sack by 60 seconds. That could be really good in five mans. Uh, blessing of protection. Good. Another good one. Holy Avenger or Divine Purpose. That's currently on two trees together. Ob Obduracy. 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 Speed and avoidance increased by 2%. Okay. Now we're getting down into the meat and the potatoes. Let's see what they got here. I like how they're naming them all seals, but they're not really seals. That's a Pokemon. Spending Holy Power has a 5% chance to reduce the Holy Power cost of your next Word of Glory? Question mark. Actually, it's only for money. It says US dollars there. C1 or Light of Dawn or d more dollars and Shield of Righteous. Okay, that one I don't understand. But it stacks three times, so I guess you're going to get a lot of dollars by the end. That's interesting. Aspiration of Divinity. Your Crusader Strike now also grants you 28 increased primary strike. Oh, wow. That's an interesting one because that stacks again times three. Presumably, it'll be the Crusader Strike grants you 28 increased primary stat part that stacks, not the six second stat, not the six second part. Here we have uh, a lower cooldown on wings. Touch of light. Your spells and abilities have a chance to cause your target to erupt in a blinding light, dealing damage or healing an ally. What the hell is that? Instant? I don't I don't get that spell, but that sounds very interesting. Grossly incandescent. Each holy power you spend has a 5% chance to cause your consecration to flare up. Oh no, guys. This is going to be so good for holy pally and five man dude. Oh man, I'm sold. Dealing medium holy damage to up to five enemies standing within it. This is going to be so good for five mans. Wow. I love that concept, dude. I love AoE damage as a rep, as a holy pally. Consecration's damage is increased by 10%. Yes. Thank you. Seal of the Crusader. Here we go. Your attacks have a chance to apply a debuff on the target, causing them to take 5% increased holy damage. Now that's a clever way to get those types of things back in the game, isn't it? Just a just a proc. I like that. 15%, presumably. Blessing of spell warding. Or improved blessing of protection. Look what it says. Bops CD re reduced by 60 seconds. Is that Wowhead typing that in there? Is that actually what Blizzard put bop? <laughs> Fucking bop me, bro. Anyway, uh, that's great. So spell warning is now a baseline spell. So again, Holy Pally having that is massive, like giant. Ridiculously important. Uh, Holy Pally is going to be top healer in keys next season, uh, in expansion. I can't see how they won't be. They have such good utility now that they have an interrupt. They have spell warning. Uh, seems like they're going to have everything they need. Seal of Might. Oh, not yet implement. I mean, New York Institute. During Avenging Wrath, your mastery is increased by 4% up to 12%, it seems. Unbreakable Spirit. Uh, reduces the cooldown on Divine Shield, so that's the normal thing. That's pretty low down there for that. Of Dusk and Dawn. Wow, now that is a legendary, I believe, also from Torghast. When you reach five holy power, you gain blessing of dawn. When you reach zero, you gain blessing of dusk. And I'm pretty sure they don't have to alternate. I've never actually used it, but I've seen it in Torghast. And I'm pretty sure that as long as you reach zero, so if you have three and go to zero, you still get blessing of dusk, which makes damage taken reduced by 4%. So that's not very good. Obviously, the other one is better. Um, but yeah, that'd be great for tanking. And I am uh, very, 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 very curious to see what the one under that is. But let's just go ahead and tease myself a little bit further. We'll start over here. The Mad Paragon. Hmm, very interesting. So that's a legendary right now. Famous for uh, interactions with the Venthyr spell. Oh, Hammer of Wrath and Judgment. 
They deal increased damage too. Is this new or is this? I'm not sure exactly. I never used the spell. We also have Sanctified Wrath and Seraphim on the same one. Okay, that's kind of boring to be honest. But those are powerful spells numerically. And tell me this last one is something I want, please. It looks like something I want. Oh, it's not. Seal of Order. In the dawn, your holy power spending abilities deal 10% increased damage and healing. In the dusk, your armor is increased by 10% and your flash of light heals for 10% more. Huh. That I'm not sure how good that is, but it sounds like it could be very good. Well, okay, interesting. Not really what I expected at times, but others, uh, it's absolutely brilliant. Seeing Rebuke here is a very big win for me, uh, especially somebody who likes to play Holy Paladin. I'm very satisfied with that. Uh, we didn't see much defensive stuff, though. I'm, I'm shocked by that. Uh, you know, there was no defensive spells at all, it seems. Nothing to do with Bubble. Um, but I guess, you know, all of the, most of the stuff is baseline, bubbles baseline, so they're just not modifying it much. Obviously there's spells like, uh, you know, Unbreakable Spirit still, but shocking. No, no, uh, this is probably the most interesting one. We'll see what happens with that. Sounds like they can be very powerful, but okay, let's take a look at Prot now. Avenger Shield, Blessing Hammer, and Hammer of the Righteous. Oh, Blessed Hammer now replaces Crusader Strike. What the hell? That's bizarre. What the hell is this class's rotation going to look like? I don't like that at all. I, I really don't like Blessed Hammer as a spell, especially if it's replacing Crusader Strike. God, awful. Okay, Redoubt. Okay, that's the same thing. It looks like Inner Light. When Shield of Righteous expires, gain 307 block and deal... Oh, yes, that sounds good. I like that one. That sounds cool just thematically. Uh, we have a uh, holy shield. Your block chance is increased, so that's good. Very typical talent. Grand Crusader. When you avoid a melee attack or use Hammer of the Righteous, you have a 15% chance to reset the remaining cooldown of Avenger Shield. That's an interesting interaction. Uh, Shining Light. Every three shields of the Righteous makes your next word of glory free. So that's, I think, uh, already a thing in Shadowlands. Consecrated Ground. Your concentration consecration is 15% larger. Okay, so that's the talent. That's a really good one. Nice and basic. We can get that easily. Grand Crusader's chance is increased by 20%. Ooh, that's good. Inspiring Vanguard. That feels like that might have been a BFA as a right trait. I think it was. Uh, Ardent Defender. Okay, that's pretty low as well. Obviously, we're going to take that. Crusader's Judgment. Judgment now has two charges. Oh, that's a good... That's a really good spell for, like, raiding and single target stuff. It'd be interesting to be able to take some of, like... The good thing about Prop Pally is they have really powerful talents, but the bad thing is a lot of them are competing with each other. Concentra cons consecration lasts one second longer, and its damage is increased, so there's already multiple amplifications for the spell. Bastion of Light. I never really liked that, that talent. Luckily, it seems very optional. Uh, Bulwark of Order. Avenger's Shield also shields you for eight seconds, absorbing 50% as much damage as it dealt. That's just part of this. That's just, is that a talent still? I think that's a talent still. But now it's it's 100%. I see, I just don't know where we're starting with a lot of these things, but I'm glad to see that's still there. Light of the Titan. I'm pretty sure that's a talent still, but it's just something that everybody takes. Word of Glory heals for an additional. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, we have Uther's Guard. Okay, this was like the legendary, wasn't it? Your land hands, divine shield, and blessing of protection have 20% reduced cooldown. No, okay, it's just something else entirely. So you have 20% reduced cooldown here. And 30% reduced cooldown here. How does that work? Uh, lay on hands is going to be up a lot, I think, is how that works. The question is, is there still going to be the bubble taunt talent? Let's keep going. Word of Glory's healing is increased by the target's missing health. Oh, that's a great talent for a raid uh, or for, like, five-man helping your group kind of thing. Resolute Defender, but it's also from New York. Uh, each three holy powers you spend reduces the cooldown of Avenge Argent Defender and Divine Shield by one second. I think that's like a conduit now or something, right? People were telling me about this. Sentinel, what the hell is this? 15 stacks of div div Divine Resolve, increasing your maximum health by 2% and reducing your damage taken by 2% per stack for until canceled. That's really, why would you ever cancel this stuff? After five seconds, you will begin to lose one stack per second. 
but each three holy power spent will delay the loss of your next stack by one second. Combines with avenging wrath. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> That's so confusing. I don't understand that at all. I don't know why you would ever cancel it, I think is the bigger question. Okay, Avenging Wrath might. Call upon Light and become an Avatar of Retribution, increasing your critical strike chance by 20% for 20 seconds. Hmm. If Avenging Wrath is known, also grant 20% damage increase. Oh. So it's just like a big buff to that. I wonder if it's going to change the way it looks. It makes me think it might. It might. Strength of Conviction... While in your consecration, your shield of the righteous and word of glory have a 10% increase to damage and healing. That sounds like that'll be good. Relentless Inquisitor. Spending holy power grants you 6 haste for 12 seconds per holy power spent, stacking up to 20 times. Hmm. That's very... These are very interesting. I'm trying not to be like, oh my god, these sound awesome, because I don't know which ones are still in the... Like, are in the game somewhere. I don't... haven't heard of most, most of the stuff. So it sounds like there's a lot of new things here. Farron Marcus's Strength. Who is that? Avenger's Shield does 15% increased damage to its primary target. I swear that was like an Azerite trait or something, maybe. I've seen that before, but it's now going to go all the way up to 30%, so that's interesting. Tears Enforcer. Your Avenger's Shield is imbued with Holy Fire, causing it to deal a bunch of damage to all enemies within 5 yard of each target hit. Yes, thank you. I'll take that point for 2 points. I'll take 2 points there, please. I love Avenger Shield. It's like probably one of my favorite spells in the kit. Guardian of Ancient Kings, Goak for short, as they say that's in there. Sanctuary, while in your consecration, your damage taken is reduced by an additional up to 5%. I like Consecrate. Pretty good spell. Faith Barricade, when you use Avenger Shield, your block chance is increased by 10%. Oh my god, dude. What is going on? These are all so good, dude. There's so many good talents. Dude, I think tank talents are going to be like the best set. Uh, just like the, the 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 set bonuses, I think they're going to have the best ones. Soaring Shield jumps additional times or Focused Enmity. Avengers Shield Dill Inc. Oh, yeah. Now, this was definitely in BFA, I'm pretty sure. 200% increased damage, but only strikes a single target. So you got to be really careful with who you use that on. Fate's Armor, Shield of Righteous. Grants 2% additional armor. Pretty passive one for that late in the tree. Casting Wog grants you an additional 0% block. You kidding me, Blizzard? That's awful. 0%. The good thing about that is it can be tuned to be higher than 0. But that's not a good start. Looks like we do have our uh, big one here, Divine Toll. The question is, are the other specs going to have it? And it looks like it works the exact same way. One minute cooldown. Uh, Avenger's Shield on up to five targets. I love it. Hate it or love it, man. I think this gets stronger, right? Because there's now all these new... This gets stronger, doesn't it? I think this is even better than normal because now there's all these new talents to buff shield. I cannot wait. Oh, yeah, look, it says all three specs too. So that means it's probably there for all of them. We also have improved Sarah. Hey, Sarah, how you been? Uh, and we also have Divine Resonance. After casting Divine Toll, you instantly cast... Shield uh, again. So that's the legendary currently. And then cooldown of Seraphim is reduced by 5 seconds and Divine Toll by 15 seconds. Oh, very interesting. Seraphim is a talent though, right? What happens if you don't have that talent? Anyway, it releases a blinding flash from... Oh, this is the artifact. This is a really cool spell. Blinding a flash... A blinding flash from Truth Guard. Although you don't have the legendary anymore, but... Uh, or the uh, whatever. Anyway, causing damage to all nearby enemies and reducing all damage they deal to you by 25%. Very powerful for 5 man. Very powerful. And then it looks like we have, yep, Bulwark of the Righteous Fury. So I'm not surprised to see that there. This will be a much better pickup now, obviously. Obviously, everybody else uses it on the planet, but I'm not a fan of taking that type of thing as a legendary. But regardless, it increases the damage of your next Shield of the Righteous. And uh, stacking up to five times and increases its radius. As long as it still makes it look like Wake of Ashes, we go. We'll find out tonight. Moment of Glory. For the next 15 seconds, Avenger's shield damage is increased by 20%. It generates an absorbed shield for an additional 50% of damage dealt. Oh, what is that? That's a powerful CD, man. Is it more powerful than Bulwark of the Righteous Fury? For the entire 15 seconds, Avenger's shield damage is increased by 20%, presumably, and it generates an absorb shield for an extra 50%, and its cooldown is reduced. 
Does it count for divine toll? Can you actually get divine toll and this talent? I think so. You'd have to not take anything in the middle part, but yeah, you definitely can. Mm. <laughs> very interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's quickly take a look at Rhett and then we're going to move on. But the Holy One is not in yet, guys. There is Divine Toll. I just want to take a look at some of the Enders. Uh, Liadrin's Fury, while Avenging Wrath is active, you gain one Holy Power. That's like Torghast. Final Verdict. A devastating strike that deals extra Holy Damage and has a 15% chance to activate Hammer of Wrath. Oh, that's interesting. There's Divine Toll. We have Ashes to Ashes. When you benefit from Art of War, you gain Seraphim. That's cool. That's a, that's part of the set bonus, isn't it? That's part of the set bonus, I believe. I'm not sure why it's two talents. Let's go to four seconds. Final Reckoning. I love that talent. Always been one of my favorites. Vanguard's Momentum. Hammer of Wrath has one extra charge and increases holy damage done by 2%. Also have Crusade and Avenging Wrath Might again. Okay, so yeah, I don't uh, know too much about Rat. There's Wake of Ashes, pretty low. Divine Storm, pretty early. That's pretty nice for leveling. Cooldown on Judgment lower. Swift Crusader, more haste. Condemning Blade. Critical Strike chance of your Blade of Justice. I don't know much about Rat, but I am a silent observer of this class and spec, and I've always loved Paladin. It is definitely, uh, it's it's where I started. Okay, it's the... The place I started on this game, so I will always love it and always have respect for it. But on top of that, I love what they do. I love the Paladin concept. I love the theme. I love the lore. Uther, my favorite character ever. Ashes to Dust. Art of War has a 35% chance to reduce the cooldown of Wake of Ashes. That's the one right there. That is so cool, dude. I'm so happy to see that being a baseline part of their kit. I think Rhett is going to be really good again. Oh, look at that. Wake of Ashes burns a target for an additional 10%. That's the conduit, I believe, right? I am so excited for Paladin, guys. I really am. Now, unfortunately, I will say that they do not have the hybridity that I hoped they would. Uh, to be fair, Shaman was hard to live up to. I definitely don't think everybody's getting Poison Cleansing Totem. Let's put it that way. But it's a little disappointing. It's mostly just offense, right? This is the one that really I got my hopes up. And ends up... They're trolling me with these old icons, man. They're trolling me. I was really hoping that was going to be Blessing of Seasons. I thought that would be an amazing thing to add to the kit permanently. And it's not. So we'll see Holy. Uh, that'll be a whole other video probably when that comes out. As you see right now, they don't have... Uh, I don't know what this is, but this is not what we're going to have. So. <laughs> so thank you for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one. Please let me know what you think about this, especially if you play prop. Do you think some of these things are powerful? Or are they new? I don't really know too much, but we will absolutely be playing Paladin this week. Stay tuned. Probably going to be starting more alpha content starting tonight. So thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.